Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape. Um, in this video we're going to be looking at how we can curve text or wrap text around a shape. If you're not familiar with the Bezier tool or with the text tools then click on the link in the top right hand corner and you can learn the basics. So to get started we're going to need some text. So if we go to our text tool, click on our canvas and we can just type in some text. If we go up select the Bezier tool, we're going to draw a curve for our path to sit on. So now we've, we've dragged out a curved path and we've got our text. If we hold down shift and select both of them, we can then go up to text, put on path and that will sit the text on the path. We can then if we want to move it along, so let's just click off, get rid of that. If we want to move it along the path, we can go back to our text tool, click at the beginning, and then we can just add a few spaces and we can position our text where we want it on the path. Uh, you can also change the size of the text and everything else you can normally do with text. Once we've got our text looking how we want it, then we're going to want to get rid of the path. There's two ways we can do this. If we want to keep our text editable, so we can continue going into it and using the text tool to edit our text, then we just want to hide the path. So to do that, all we're going to do is select path, go up to the fill and stroke menu box and hide the stroke. So now our text is nicely curved. We've got no line, all's good. One thing that you do want to do if you use this method is if you just go over both of them and group them together. And that just keeps them adjacent to each other when you're working on your project. The alternate method, oh, you can also sit there and rotate it and things now, so. And scale it. Oh, if we get hold of the handle and scale it. So that, that's one way we can go about removing the line. The other way we can get rid of our stroke is to convert our text into a path. Once we've done that we can no longer edit it using the, the um, text editing tool. So to do that we need to select our text, then go up to path, down to object to path, click on that and you've now converted it to a path. So we can now remove our stroke and it's now a standalone object. So if we get our nodes tool, we zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. If we click on this, you can see that each of these now is an individual path. Um, this kind of gives you the options to change the appearance of your text. but you can no longer go in with the text tool. It just doesn't recognize it. The second thing I want to show you is wrapping text around a circle. If we, we can drag out a circle, hold down control to constrain it to a circle, drag out a circle, and we can write a bit of text, go up, get our text tool. Oh, missed, wrap. I'm going to click off and on a separate text box we're going to write circle. I'll show you why in a minute. First thing we want to do is put our text onto the circle. So if we select our first piece of text, hold down shift, select the circle, go up to text, put on path. We've now got our text on the path. To rotate the text around the circle what we're going to do is click off and we're just going to select circle, click it twice, get rotation handles and then we can rotate it to where we want. Um, when you're doing this it sometimes makes life easier if you just drag down a guide from the top that way you can check that your spacings even on both sides so you know you've got your writing straight. We now want to put the second piece of text underneath so I'm going to duplicate this circle so control D to duplicate our circle we we'll hold down shift 
select our text, we can go up to text, put on path. Now this, when we use our rotation tools to rotate the, the circle, we can see that it's put the text on exactly the same way as we've got our wrap A at the top. We want the text to be up the other way. To do this, it, we need to use our flip tools. So when we flip it, it puts the text on the inside of the circle. So now when we rotate it round, the text is up the right way, but unfortunately we want it on the outside. So what we're going to do is hold down our shift control, and then we can drag out our circle so that it just sits nicely on the outside of the text. So on the W you can see it's just about touching and on the L it's just about touching. Then we can click again to get our rotation tools and we can just line up our text nicely underneath. Now we've got our, our writing where we want it. We've got a bit of an obvious error where we put the text on the outside of a circle. It's spaced out our letters and where the word circle is on the inside of our circle, it's it's squashed all the letters up together. So we need to correct this. So if we come out, we can go into our, gee, let's select the text first. So we just drop the circles back out of the way. So we can drop that down to the bottom, click on the other one and drop that down as well. So we know when we click on the text, we're gonna get our text. So with the wrap A, we want to move the letters closer together. So we get our text tool and we can highlight our text. Then we can go up to the top and we've got our spacing. So we can move our letters closer together to where we like them. We then get our selection tool. Let's just drop that one back. Got our selection tool, select the relevant circle, and then we can just line up the text. We can select our second piece of text, get our text tool, highlight our text, and then we can just space these out slightly to match the writing on the top. Grab our, grab our selection tool, select our outer circle, and then we can just rotate it to get it nicely lined up. We can always move our guide down to check we've, we've got it nicely lined up. I think that'll do. That looks good to me. Um, so on the example, I had a, a line going round each side. So we can do that by, if we click on the inner circle, we just control D to duplicate, hold down control and shift, drag out on the handle till it sits midway through the writing. So about there. We're gonna go up to fill and stroke. We want a stroke, put the opacity up, go to fill and get rid of the fill. So now we've got our circle there, but it goes across our writing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go our rectangle tool and we are just going to drag out a rectangle to the size we want. We're then going to go up, get our selection tool, hold down shift, select both the, the circle and the rectangle then we can go up to path down to um, cut path we've then got three pieces of path that we can separate so we can drag around drag out the other two we can delete both of those we can then go in select both our circles Go to the fill and stroke, click on the fill and get rid of the fill. So we've got our writing 
with our lines. Um, this is still editable because we've left left the uh, path still there. We can go in and we can edit our text. If we wanted it standalone, then we can go in again and we can convert it to a path. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.